Jesus. Oh, he's all right. Have you tried my Savior? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all right. Have you tried the healer? Hey. He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all hey. right. Hey. Have you tried Jesus? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Come on, oh, put your hands together. Come on. All right. Have you tried him? Have you tried him? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all right. Oh, he's all right. Have you tried Jesus? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all Woo! right. Have you tried Jesus? He's all right. Have you tried Jesus? Oh, he's all right. He's all right. Let's ride, right, y'all. Right. He's all 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 right. I tried him in the knowing. He's all right. He's all right. I tried him in the knowing. He's all right. 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 All right, 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 all right. He's 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 all
Yes, Lord. So say yes. Yes, Lord. Well, I got another yes, Lord, in my, my soul. Lord. Well, I got another yes, Lord. Come in on, saints. Well, I got another yes, Lord. In my soul. Well, I got another yes, Lord. In my soul. Well, I got another hallelujah. In my soul. Well, I got another hallelujah. In my soul. Well, I got another thank you, Jesus. In my soul. Well, I got another thank you, Jesus. In my soul. So say yes. Come on. So say yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So say yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So say yes. 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 Play. Play. Come on, some of y'all. I need y'all to put y'all hands together. Don't come and just look at us. I want you to put your hands together. Come on. This is the way you get the devil off your track. Clap your hands. This is how you confuse the enemy. When you give God the praise, forget about what you went through today. Forget about what happened this week. You got to put your hands together and praise him. This is warfare. This is how you declare war on the devil. This is how you confuse the enemy when you give him praise. Hey! He thought he had you down. Oh, but you got away. Hey, glory to God. Yes, Lord. My, 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 my. Yes, Lord. Glory to his name. Yes, Lord. Glory to his name. So say yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and praise his holy name. Come on, tell him thank you. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on and lift him up right there. Come on and lift him up right there. Come on, forget about your troubles. Forget about your heartaches. Hallelujah. Forget about everything. Hallelujah. Forget about it and put it on the altar. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I come to bless you tonight. Lord, I came to bless come on, say, Lord, I come to bless you tonight. Lord, I came say, Lord, I come to give you the praise. I come to, I come to praise. magnify your name. Yes. In spite of what's happening, I yet give him a praise. Come on, tell him, thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him, thank you, Lord. The more you bless him, the more he'll pour out on you. The more you praise him, the more he'll bless you. Come on and tell him, thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. Come on and tell him, thank you, Lord. He's worthy of the praise. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Come on and tell him, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and give him praise right there. Tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. It's revival time in this place. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but I'm coming every night to get something from the Lord. I come with my cup out and my saucer too. Amen. I want the Lord to fill me up. Come on, say, Lord, fill me up. Y'all ain't acting like you want to be filled. Come on, say, Lord, fill me up. Come on, say, Lord, fill me up. How many of you come to get something from the Lord on this week? Amen. I come to get something from God on this week. And I know the woman of God, God, have poured into her. And she's going to come and pour out to us. And we're just going to give God praise all week long. Come on, say, Lord, I thank you, God. Come on and lift those hands toward heaven and say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, say, Lord, I thank you. I just want to praise you. I just want to give you the glory. And we magnify your name. Hallelujah. We give him all the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to open up just for a moment of testimony. Amen. And praise. Amen. Glory to God. Many times. Amen. When these settings we want to open up for a testimony service. And for those. 
amen, who desire to testify, we're going to ask, amen, that you stand and, and testify, tell of the goodness of the Lord, amen. Now, we don't want to give no devil no glory, amen, amen, amen. We just want to, we just want to give, give me this mic right here, you, give me this mic, give me this mic right here, this is a good one, hallelujah, amen, give me that mic, it's clean, it's clean, go ahead, I already cleaned it, and praise the Lord, amen, come on, testify, testify. Amen. 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 Come on, say praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Come on, say praise the Lord. See, see if it's on. See if it's on. The little button. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Let's testify. Amen. Tell them the goodness of God and tell them what he's done. We're going to continue to pray for Sister Reba. Amen. amen. Let's say amen for Sister. Amen. I first off would like to give honors to God for saving me, for delivering me, setting me free. I thank God tonight for tonight praise God I thank God about three years ago maybe going into four I have a daughter that's 24 and at the time she was 21 and she lost her mind completely lost her mind she didn't know who she was she was incontinent she was just completely out of it and I began to praise God. This was about three years ago. Didn't know what I was doing, but God know your heart. God know what he's doing. God know how to use you to get through to others. And I thank God for using me to get through to my daughter because today my daughter has her mind back. Yes. She, she has a strong voice. Yes. And I just give God the glory for that. And not yes. only that. Uh, uh, last year around this time and I'm not going to take too much time but I got a praise down in my soul yes. because God has been good to me yes. God not only delivered me once but twice yes. praise God from doing things that I wasn't supposed to do drugs and yes. drinking and prostitutes yes. everything God. under the sun but I get God the glory yes. today God is awesome. for being in the house of the Lord I thank God for giving me strength throughout this week because Sunday when we went to the evening service, my car quit. It completely wouldn't say a word and it still ain't saying nothing, but I thank God for still being here tonight and he still get the glory. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God oh we'll see how great how great is our God come on he's done something for you come on let's say it together how great is our God sing with me how come on is our God Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Come in, can you lift your hands with me tonight? He's a name, you're a name above all names. Come on. And you're worthy of our praise with our heart. We'll sing how great is our God. Come on, you're a name, you're a name above all names. Come on, y'all act like he ain't did nothing for you. Worthy of our praise. With our heart we'll sing how great. Let's do it. 
do it again. How great. How great I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Is our God. Come on. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we'll sing how great. Yeah. How great is our God. One more time. How great. How great. Come on. Is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great. How great is our God. Come on, let's give him a round of applause. God is so good. He's so great. Hallelujah. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise him enough. God bless you, missionary. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, hallelujah, let us go out into the house of the Lord. I just want to thank God for my life, health, and strength. I thank God for when he saved me, sanctified me, and filled me. I just thank God for all the blessings, amen, hallelujah, that he has blessed me with, amen, yeah. my family, amen, my husband, my children, amen. I just thank God for all that he has done, and he's not through blessing me yet, hallelujah. So I just thank and I just praise God on tonight, amen. I thank God for being just a good God. God. I thank him for being a merciful God. I thank him for being an on-time God. Hallelujah. No matter what the enemy tries, amen, God is yet still in control. And I just thank God for what he is about to do in our lives, amen. I just want to magnify God on today because he said, if I be lifted up, Hallelujah, I will draw all men. Hallelujah, there are some people I need God to draw. Hallelujah, but I have no other, no other name to lift up but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, I know if God drew me and saved me and sanctified me, those the one that I need him to draw, he'll do the same for them. So I just thank God on tonight, amen. I thank God, amen, for being the head of my life. Amen. Thank God for our leaders. Thank God for my husband. Amen. I just thank God for what he is about to do. God is doing some great things. Hallelujah. I decree and declare, amen. God is doing some great things, amen. He said greater works, hallelujah, shall we do, amen. And I'm standing on the promises of God. Y'all continue to keep our family in prayer. I thank and praise God for being here on tonight. I thank and praise God for how he's just been blessing in our family. I thank and praise God that I'm not standing here with a sad story on tonight. I thank and praise God for how he spared my sister's life. I thank and praise God for his goodness. Every time I think about her, I think about Sister Cheatham and her situation. And she said, if it And that's kind of what happened with my sister. She kept telling us, you know, she was hurting with men. My niece kept telling her, you need to go to the doctor. You need to go to the doctor. We had both been to the doctor a couple of weeks prior. And they told me I had pneumonia. And they told her she had an upper respiratory infection. And they sent us home. Well, <clears throat> she wasn't getting any better. They gave us antibiotics and sent us home. Well, she wasn't getting any better. And we had kind of been battling back and forth between each other. I'd be okay this week, and she'd be sick. Then she'd get better, and I'd get sick. And so uh, my niece said, y'all passing, y'all got that COVID, y'all passing that COVID uh, back and forth between each other. So we got scared, and we went to the doctor. <laughs> the same night we went to the doctor, and that's when they <laughs> told her that she had an upper respiratory infection and that I had pneumonia, but we didn't have COVID, thank God. And so we came on back home and I started to feel a little better and she just kept getting worse and kept getting worse. Kept taking them Tylenol. I, I'm, I'm gonna be all right, I'm gonna be all right. Just 
just, I'm going to take two of these Tylenols. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. And she wouldn't go to the doctor. But thank God. Yeah. He know how, he know what we need. So he let her go to work. And she got sick at work. And they had to call the paramedics for her at work. When the paramedics got there, her, her, her blood sugar was up to 480. By the time they got her to uh, whatever hospital they took her to, uh, uh, St. Paul, I think, her sugar had got up to 580. Her blood pressure was up sky high. And they uh, gave her fluids, and they was about to send her back home again. And this doctor said, you, you don't look well. And she kept telling him, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And he told her, he said, well, I'm going to do one more test on you. And <clears throat> they sent her down to get a CAT scan. And that's when they discovered that she was full of infection. And um, she had a, a kidney stone that was blocking and was causing all of that infection in her, um, her, um, her thing over here. Um, even call it right now but anyway her um what is it the thing that appendix her appendix was uh all messed up so they had to uh put a tube in her back to drain all the um the uh, infection out of her back which she still has to this day is still draining infection out of her back um and they went ahead on it. They had to do the uh, appendix surgery the next day. And so she still had one more surgery to go, but they have to get all of that infection out before they could get the kidney stone, which she's scheduled for that on November the 1st. So y'all just keep us in y'all prayers. But I tell you, if it hadn't been for her getting sick at work, she wouldn't have went to the doctor and she may not be here today because she was so full of all that infection. And she didn't just walking around just, you know, and at the brink of death and didn't know it. So God is good and he know what we need. And I just thank God that she's still here today and I have a good report to give that everything is okay. So y'all just continue to pray for our family. Come on, say praise the Lord, somebody. <clears throat> young man, young man, young man, what's, I don't know his name. Come on, come on, brother, stand up. I want you to get the mic, get the mic. I want you to be the mic toss, okay? You're going to help, come on. Come on over here, and uh, you can set that one down right there. We're going to use this one. <clears throat> Just come over here and stand by him. When he get done, the next person pop up. You take the mic to him, all right? <clears throat> Let's say amen. We got our, we got our sanctified white, white mic, right? amen? <laughs> Let's say amen for Brother Elton, amen? I thank God for allowing me to wake up to see me today. Uh, it's pretty much been a whole year now since I broke my jaw. Accident. I just thank God I'm alive. Uh, there have been two people that had the same accident as me, and they didn't make it. They didn't survive. Wow. But I did. God spent my life, and I just thank him for it. Amen. Come on, say praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God today. Come on, somebody testify. Come on. Come on, y'all testify. Believe I testify while I have a chance. Believe I testify while I have a chance. Believe I testify while I have a chance. May not have a chance anymore. Come on, y'all. Come on. I'm going to call on you. Believe I testify. Come on, help me sing it. Believe I testify while I. I know y'all know that song. Come on. While I have a chance. May not have a chance anymore. Come on, I believe I testify. Oh, I believe I testify. While I have a chance, I believe I testify. While I have a chance, may not have this chance anymore. Come on, testify. Believe I testify. Oh, believe I testify. We got one, brother. We got one, man. Believe I, brother. Right over here. While I have a chance, may not have a chance anymore. Hey! Yes. Amen, amen. I honor God on tonight. 
Amen. I sang, amen, but I did not testify. Thank God for each of you tonight. Amen. I'm just grateful to be saved tonight. Grateful to be filled with his Holy Ghost. And I, when I look back over my life, hallelujah, and just see how far he's brought me. Hallelujah. When I think about the traps, you know, the enemy don't want us saved now. Amen. His job is to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. So I thank God because he's protected me. Hallelujah. Thank God for Brother Elton's testimony. When he was testifying, I just began to go back down memory lane and just think about my family. And, you know, it's been five years now since we lost our daughter. Uh, amen. And, uh, you know, when we wake up, we think we're going to see the day. You know, we think we, when we hit the floor, we think we're going to make it through the day. Yeah. But, amen, she woke up just like you and I do every day. Amen. And begin to feel different and weird and collapsed. And never, never, ever did I see my daughter again. So we cannot take life for granted. Amen. We went to a gravesite. Amen. I just, it doesn't seem like it's been five years, but it's been five years. Amen. And I just, you know, sometimes we just go, 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 go. It just still doesn't quite seem real. But I thank God for strength. Hallelujah. I thank God because I didn't go into a deep depression. I thank God because he's given me strength to go on. Hallelujah. I praise God for that. Amen. I thank God because I can truly say. See, that's why we got to make sure we keep it right with our children. Yeah. Everything you can do to make it right with your loved ones and your children. You don't want to have any regrets. Amen. Amen. If the enemy is trying to put an odd and uh, something in between your family, you get it right. Don't worry about them calling. You call them. Amen. And apologize whatever you need to do to make it right. Amen. So I just thank God for you, each of you tonight. Amen. Thank God for what he's doing in this ministry. He has great things for Deliverance Chapel. How many believe that? He has great things for you. Amen. So I just praise God tonight. I, amen, like Sister Henderson said, I have no sad story. I've been ill all last week. I had the flu. Amen. God healed me from that. Amen. I wouldn't, the doctor said I had it. Amen. I just had a little cough. Amen. I didn't have a fever or anything. But I thank God I had strength to go on. Amen. So I'm just happy about God and what he's doing and what he's going to do in this revival. Saints, let's get some more people out. Let's fill this house this week. Amen. You all pray for me. God bless you. Amen. I know that without God, I wouldn't be here. I magnify God because he is my healer. He is my deliverer. He is my keeper. He's my all in all. I magnify God because on the week that we came back from the retreat, that Tuesday, I got a phone call from my sister that she had had a stroke. And I thank and praise God that she's better. She's fine. She just left rehab. She has some um, therapy to go through. But I thank and praise God that she didn't, it didn't take a lot out of her. I magnify God for that because I lost my daddy through a stroke. He had a massive stroke when he lived for about a month before he passed away. And then I lost my mother through a stroke. But I praise and I magnify God because he spared my sister's life. I praise God because I know how important it is for us to do what we're supposed to do to stay healthy. And as I'm talking to her, telling her what she needs to do, I have to remind myself that I have to do the same thing. And I told her this morning when I talked to her, I said, because I, God it gave me this to say it, and I'm going to keep saying it, that God is my doctor. 
I go to a doctor that's named Osuji. He's my, he's my doctor's assistant. I go to Dr. Osuji, but I trust God for my healing. God is the one that knew that before the doctors knew I had cancer, God already knew it. And he showed me that if I trust him, he'll let me, he lets me know that I will be all right. I don't care what the enemy try to bring on my, bring my way. Pastor, I have to say this here. When you spoke to me the other Sunday, the devil got busy. And I said, Lord, now, Pastor told me that favor is mine. And here the enemy just got real busy and tried to dis deter me from thinking that what God promised me would not happen. But I remember sharing that with my daughter. And Pastor, I said, Pastor kept telling me to say favor. He kept, he told me to keep saying favor. And she said, Mama, I don't put favor on my, on my Facebook page. I'm saying favor for you. And I say, God, I thank you because I could have gave up and said it's not going to happen. But to this week, Pastor, as I studied the Sunday school lesson about the promise God made to Sarah, and I said, God, if you promise that to Sarah, I know you're going to do it for me. Because if I trust him and believe him and know that he can do it, he's going to make it happen. And I'm standing by faith to believe that God is on my side. You all pray my strength in the Lord, for it is my desire to see God's face in peace. Don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Doing all I can. Hold up his name. Don't let his name go down. Y'all know that song? Don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Come on, put your hands together. Doing all I can. Hold up his name. Don't let his name go down. Come on, y'all. Don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Doing all I can. Hold up his name. Give her a mic. Don't let his name go down. Give her a mic. Don't let his name go down. Help me out, Sister Sarah. Don't let his name go down. Well, doing all I can do. Hold up his name. Don't let his name go down. Come on, y'all. Put your hands together. Don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Well, I'm doing all I can. Hold up his name. Don't let his name go down. Come on, y'all. Don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Well, I'm doing all I can. Hold up his name. Don't let his name go down. Well, don't let his name go down. Don't let his name go down. Well, I'm doing all I can. Hold up his name. Doing all, doing all I can. Hold up his name. Doing all. Doing all I can. Hold up his name. Doing all I can. Doing all I can. Hold up his name. Don't let his name. Don't let his name go down. What's his name? Jesus. 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 What's his name? Come on. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Call his name. Jesus. Call his name. Jesus. Call his name. Jesus. Call his name. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Healing in that name. Jesus. Deliverance in that name. Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Help me call him. 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 Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. 
What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. 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 Come on, put your hands together and call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm doing all I can to hold up that name. Come on, put your hands together. Put them hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. We thank God for our evangelists making an arrival. Let's say amen for evangelist Costa. Amen. My mother in the gospel. We thank God for her and for a portion of her team to come out. Amen. We just give God the glory and the praise. Amen. 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 We thank God for what he is doing and what he is going to do. Amen. God is a good God. How many know God is a good God? Amen. I need you all to help me real quick. And those of you that are watching by live, amen. Many couldn't make it tonight and uh, they're watching by live. That's one good thing about uh, Facebook. Amen. People can't make it to church. They can watch. Amen. And they can help. Amen. So there are five ways to give on this platform. I'm going to ask you all to help me real quick. I need everyone, amen, to get an offering in your hand. Get an offering in your hand. And, and I'm going to start early this week. I'm going to start early this week. Amen. I'm taking one, me and Lady Taylor. Amen. I want to challenge you all to bring $100 on this week. So you, you can start early and start gleaming. Amen. As the scriptures say, you can gleam. So how many? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you all, and I'm going to believe God that he's going to bless you tremendously with an overflow. If you would take this challenge, who's going to bring $100 back? Amen. If you got to ask a hundred people for a dollar, amen, somebody. <laughs> well, them folks out there on the corner, they stand around there begging you for a penny. I know you ought to be asked for a dollar. Come on, somebody. Can we say praise the Lord? Amen. Sister Sarah, she's going to take one. Amen. I'm challenging you all, amen, to bring a, amen. That's my brother. My brother, amen. Brother Dalen, he's going to take one. Give, give brother Dalen one, too. He's back there. Yeah. The lady Taylor and I, we're going to take one. I want you all, I'm challenging you all to bring $100 on this week, amen, for the revival. Amen. And we're not, we, 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 we know that it costs, amen, uh, there's an expense that comes along with every revival, amen, <clears throat> with every service, and amen. And I thank God for, for my mother in the gospel, amen, amen, Mother Costa, amen. She's been preaching and preaching. I've been watching. I said she got to come on and deliver the chapel. Amen. For this year in. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and I know she's going to come. But I thank God for all of you. And I know this is the first night. And I, I don't know why us folks, us folks, <laughs> us folks, amen. Amen. We start coming on in there as the nights go on. Amen. But we want you all, we want to challenge you all, those of you that are watching live, we want to challenge you all with a $100 gift, with a $100 gift on tonight, amen. Right now, I want you to get a $25 seed, get a $25 seed, amen, in your hand, and I want you to bring that $25 seed up on tonight, amen. And I want to lay hands on a um, um, uh, missionary bishop, I want, I mean, I mean no, I'm sorry. Missionary Cheatham, Missionary Cheatham, I want you to come touch my hand personally because there's favor on your life. I don't care what the devil, you see, the devil gets mad. See, when you speak into the spirit realm, he already know what's up. <clears throat> so he tried to attack and assassinate before you can get it. So I want you to come and touch my hand personally on tonight. So those of you that have a gift, you don't have 25, bring the best gift you have. Come on, everyone from all over the building. All over the building. Come on, everyone. Bring the best gift you have. Come and touch my hand. When you touch my hand, that's going to be favor on your life. Amen. I don't care what it looks like. I know what it's going to be. Amen. Praise God. Favor on your life. Favor. I bind the enemy that try to come against what God's getting ready to do. The will of the Lord is on your Father. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. That's all. 
God's going to give you favor anyway, daughter. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come here, uh, sister. Uh, sister, um, I'm, I'm going to get your name right. McDaniel. She's wanting me to call her sister. Uh, is it Tawana? Amen. I'm giving you the soul because you have a desire. Amen. This is one of the new members. Amen. We we going we gonna to help her. Amen. And you watch what God, you, you keep watching what God do with her. Amen. Just keep watching what God do with her. Amen. I already see it. The enemy always trying to fight. See, <clears throat> you show me a person that's going through something or that's always attacked, I'll show you an anointed person. Amen. <laughs> anointing don't come just by reading your Bible. Amen. Anointing come through going through something. If you need to use the credit card machine, we ask that you would do so. Those of you that are watching live, we want you to sow that $25 seed right now. Those of you that didn't make, all the members that didn't make it to church on tonight, sow that seed on tonight. Amen. Sow that seed on tonight. Amen. Every, everyone wants you to sow that $25 seed on tonight. Sow that $25 seed. The ways to give is on the screen. Amen. You can give. Cash out. Dollar sign DC Kojic, or you can give quick pay by Zelle. That is DC Kojic at yahoo.com. Or you can text to give at 972 954 4848. Or you can go on the website, amen, and give. Amen. Want to get this offering and expense offering out of the way? Amen. Has everyone had a chance to give? Has everyone had a chance to give? You see, whenever you, whenever you give unto the Lord, the Bible even tells us when you lend to the poor, you're lending to God. Amen. And so we want you to be able to sow that seed, sow that seed unto the Lord. You give out of a grateful heart. Is that right? God loves what kind of giver? <clears throat> a cheerful giver. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for what you've done. Let's bless this offering. And we're going to move in and move out of the way so that, amen, our evangelists can come at this hour. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. And we thank you, God, for your goodness and your mercy. We pray now, God, that you will bless the seed that have been sown. We pray that you will multiply back to your people, God, in 20, 30, even 100 fold. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want everybody to repeat after me. Say, favor on my life. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. It is, it is time now to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. That's going to come, amen, through this vessel that God have, have, have blessed us in the body of Christ. Amen. She is no stranger. Uh, she is no stranger, amen, to to us. She's no stranger to the body of Christ. Amen. She has been preaching, amen, for a good while. I don't know how long, but I remember the first time meeting her, amen. She was preaching down in, um, what is that, Fort Worth at Rising Star Church of God in Christ. That's when the late uh, Macklin was living at that time. <clears throat> and I said, oh my God, who is this woman preaching here? Amen. And she was preaching. I tell you, she brought a powerful word. And I never forgot her since then. Amen. And then when I became a member here as one of the social elders, amen, she came again, amen, under Elijah Kelly Jr. Amen. So we thank God and we have connected and we stay connected. Amen. But I thank God for Mother Costa. She's a woman of wisdom. Amen. And she is an evangelist. Amen. Amen. She is a true evangelist, a woman of God, a woman of prayer. Amen. And I thank God for her. I'm glad she's my mother in the gospel. Amen. I praise God for her. I want you to rest to your feet. And we're not going to delay any more time. I want you to rest to your, your feet and receive on this evening. Amen. The evangelist, Ella Costa. Come on, say amen. Say God bless evangelist Costa. From the rising of the sun unto the going down 
This chair is too low. Where is my chair I use? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he's worthy. Jesus is worthy. Thank you, baby. Worthy to be praised. Now, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. Forgive me, Pastor, for being late because I'm very timely. But we ran into lots of traffic. And uh, we just had to take our time. And I, I wanted to make sure y'all had started. But I'm going to share a little secret before I go any further. Now, I didn't drive a ride over here to a dead church. Now, if y'all... Don, I'm going to be a no-show tomorrow night. I, I'm, you know, that's... I, uh, <laughs> that's all right. I use this thing here. I, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't come to prime and pump. And because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So it's, it's caught on you, uh, saints. You know, y'all know Evangelist Coaster. Y'all know Mother Coaster. Uh, revival come when people wants to be revived. I don't know. I guess this is reserved for the latecomers. This me allow. Because I don't, I don't want to teach to no pew. Y'all need to come and sit in the middle. Thank you, kind father. Y'all, y'all know Mother Coaster. I, I, I was looking for security when I got here. I can hardly wait to get here. Hallelujah! Thank you, thank y'all. Some sweet saints, y'all. Some sweet saints. That's just come on down to the second pew. This daughter, come on down. Come, yeah, come on over. Hallelujah! From the rising of the sun, bless you, son. Until the going down of the same. Jesus, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. Whoa, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Jesus, wretched Savior, you're worthy to, so worthy to be praised. My Father, I thank you. I praise you and I give you glory and I give you all the honor because there's nobody like you, God. Oh, first I want to thank you for blessing me to get here. No accident, no incident, no road rage, no ticket, just traffic, Father. But you blessed us to make it. Now, God, we didn't come to play church. We came to have church. And I want to have a time in you because I want to let the enemy know that he don't have no authority. Speak through these lips of clay. Speak the words you'd have me to say to your people tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, stir up the saints. <clears throat> stir them up, God. Stir them up, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless God. Protect and keep Israel. You told us to pray for Israel. And Father, we pray and now move. Move by your power. Move by your might, God. Innocent people are being killed, Father. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now, God, you do a work there. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Everybody put your hands together and tell God thank you. Oh, pray. Oh, praise him. Lord, praise him. Jesus. Get you a mic. Blessed Savior. So worthy. From the rising of the 
sun. The Lordy. Until the going down of the sea. Jesus, you're worthy. Hey. You're so worthy. You're worthy to be praised. Oh, praise him. I wish I had somebody to help me. Well, Lord, we owe it to you, Jesus. We owe you this praise. Jesus. Blessed Savior. Jesus. Blessed Savior. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Blessed Savior. Jesus. Blessed Savior. Call his name Jesus. Blessed Savior. You so worthy. Come on, put them hands together if he's worthy. If he's worthy. Don't do it if he ain't worthy. Ay, 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 ay. If he's worthy, praise him. Let everybody that have breath praise you the Lord. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, kind father. He been real good to us. If you look back over your life, and see what God has brought you from. You ought to put a praise on your lips. Because if it had not been for the Lord. Who's on my side. I don't know where I'd be. Glory to God. Woo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'd be. Thank you, kind Father. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, Basha. Hey, show Koto Boda. He can't deliver the OBRC. Thank you, kind Father. Another Bosa. Stir up these saints. Uh, uh, everybody, everybody that stayed up under the bridge last night, raise your hand. All the folks that stayed up under the bridge. Oh, you stayed up under the bridge? Oh, okay. Okay, well, uh, who all stayed up on the bridge? Okay, everybody that didn't have nothing to eat today at all, raise your hand. Everybody that walked to church tonight, raise your hand. Oh, well, uh, what's the problem? What's, what's up? What's... <laughs> You got a roof over your head. Food to eat. Road to church. Hi, ya, 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 ya. When they're bombing over in Israel and you able to sit in the house of God, who do you think you are to hold back your praise? Yeah. <laughs> You'll get your miracle in your praise. All right, I ain't gonna prime you. I ain't gonna prime you. You know, God, you know, God been real good to me. Preacher. Woo wee. She been good to me, so it, I should have heard y'all when I got out the car. Back in the day, I would. I said, they still in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to see if I'm going to come back tomorrow night. St. John, the 17th chapter. I have to come too far. 
you know, y'all live in Dallas. I'm coming from Fort Worth. Just look, look, God, forgive them. I'm going to ask you to forgive them. Thank you, Jesus. St. John, seven, 17th chapter. God to see Brother Cedric. Still on the organ. Is that right, Cedric? Okay, he didn't raise his head up. I didn't know if I had his name right. Brother Cedric is still on the organ. Tenth verse. I want to, <clears throat> just in case I don't come back, I want to drop a little nugget in your spirit. The reason why, Damon, you, you should be praising God. Uh, the reason why, if you just look at the news and uh, just look at Israel, Jerusalem, and uh, our custodian worker at a school in Forest Hill, which is actually in Fort Worth, just went to take our trash, got shot and killed. Didn't know she wasn't going to make it home tonight. And we come to church and we're so relaxed. I'm not, I'm not fussing. I'm just, I just want to remind you. you, you you're serving a God that had a son to pray for you. I'm not going to be long. Uh, I spend most of my time on the road. Mm -mm. Uh, I said St. John 17 chapter. I'm going to read you something. In the 14th chapter, in the uh, uh, 20th verse, says, And that day ye shall know that I am thy Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that has corn maintained and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him and will manifest myself unto them. Now let's go over to this 17th verse. 17th chapter 14, 10th verse. All are mine. <clears throat> Thine and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep them through thy own name, whom thou hast given me, that they may be Somebody shout real loud, one. one. As we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that have given me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of prediction. And the scripture might be fulfilled, and now cometh I to thee. And these things I speak in the world that ye might have my joy fulfilled in them. As your neighbors say, is your joy, is his joy fulfilled in you? I just want to know. I have given them thy word. Mm-hmm. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Okay. Even as I am not of the world. Here's a prayer that Jesus prayed for us, y'all. I pray not that thou would so take them out of the world, but that thou would keep them from the evil. And that they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Here we go. Sanctify them, shout out by soul, through thy truth. 
Thy word is truth. That's more than enough. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is thy truth. Father, keep them. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm not keeping myself. God is keeping me. Turn to another neighbor and tell him, say, neighbor, I'm not keeping myself. God is keeping me. Because Jesus prayed for me. <laughs> in this day and time that we're living in, you must realize that we're living in an evil world because Satan is the God of this world. And what Satan has done, he has allowed y'all to call wrong right and right wrong. And he has allowed you to take the pleasure of the world than the pleasure of living sanctified. The Bible tells us that God will keep us in perfect peace if we keep our mind just stayed on him. I don't care what the devil is throwing at you. There is a peace you can have in God that will pass all a man's understanding. I don't care what the world is doing. Jesus has prayed for you. And he asked his father, said, Father, keep them in this evil world. Keep them through your word. And your word is true. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's time for us to get in the word. But not only get in the word, but believe the word. Knowing that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Tell your neighbor, God has sanctified us through thy word. God has given us a promise through thy word. God is keeping us through thy word. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you're not going under. You're going over if you can keep the word. Yes! A songwriter wrote a song. Every word of God is right. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to live by the word of God. I'm going to make it by the word of God. I'm going to live sanctified through the word of God of God yes I'm going to put the word on it that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put the word on it because the word works oh okay I'm through I'm through some of y'all looking at me like I'm from out of space I'm going to I'm going to put the word on. He prayed for us. And the prayer was keep us in this evil world. And he didn't say just keep us but sanctify. Them. Sanctification is a word that folks not using now. Okay, y'all got quiet. I'm too. They don't, they don't, people don't want to live sanctified. Okay, I'm not going to fuss. They want to say everything, do everything, and look every way. But you know what the word said? 
But the pastor word said, come out from among them. Yeah. Right. And he said, be ye separate. Yeah. He, he said, said, the Lord, I want to be your father. But I can't be your father when you mix it and match it. He never was a stepdaddy. He was our fears, our father. Oh, okay, okay. Thank God for the word. I'm through. Because I'm like this, and, and you got to pray for me. I'm, I'm older now. I'm, I'm really and truly a senior citizen. I know I don't look like it. My tolerance is low. Because God brought me out of darkness into this marvelous life. And see, the saints that got spoiled, y'all want folks to prophesy to you. But they can prophesy to you, but if you're not living holy. Come on now. Talk about it. It's just words. Sanctify them through thy word, through thy truth. Thy word it's true. You know what Paul said? Paul said, when I went to do good, they're always present. And what the saints is doing, they're falling into the hands of the evil that's always present. This is the best days of our life. But we don't realize it because you're looking at trouble. My mother sung a song in her lifetime. Trouble in my way. I had to cry sometimes. But then she turned around and said, but Jesus, he's going to fix it for me after a while. Uh, you know, you know. I went through the house today and, and, and I, was, I was singing and I was singing, and I said, Lord, use me in your service. I have church before I come to church because of this. I have church before I come to church. Draw me nearer every day because I'm willing to run, and I want to run all the way. But if I stumble, if I stumble, don't get angry. Let me stand. I, I'm just willing to run and run all the way. Well, take these golden nuggets tonight. Brother Pastor, I'm not sent to your church right now. Look at him. Turn around look at your member. I'm not, it's not my time and season right now for revival. Because I didn't come to revive the saints. I came to connect with the saints to be revived. But if the saints <laughs> is not revived, how can I connect with them? I have trouble just like the rest of y'all. Yeah. Probably have most so because I'm an evangelist. I have to go through so I can let you know, lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted up the everlasting door. Yeah. The king of glory shall come in. Yeah. And who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord that is mighty in battle. I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'm through. Saints are not coming back to a dead church when they can go around the corner to a live church. Yeah, you know, this is my last night, so, you know. Saints are not coming. We're not, we're not coming to... The day is gone when we pump folk. 
Pastor, don't pump your members up. You have to preach the word. If they don't clap their hands, just teach the word. If the word don't make you happy, you can't get happy. You can't get it. But that might be what's wrong. Y'all done put the word down and got iPads, iPhones. Everybody raised their Bible, got their Bible. Oh, y'all pretty, well, what's wrong with y'all? See, because that Bible is a powerful source. I, 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 got, I, I got sick one day, and not, I got up, and I took my Bible. I didn't even open it up, Pastor. I didn't even open it up. I just laid my Bible in the bed, and I rolled over on it with the side that was hurting. And I said, by this word, I'm healed. My faith wasn't in the medicine. Shut up, Rondado. Yeah, caught up, I see. It don't take much of me to take off. Just rolled over on the word. And I applied the, well, y'all got quiet. Like you applied Absorbing Junior, I applied the Bible to it. Leaders are dying before they turn because they're preaching too hard to make you happy. The word don't make you happy. It's not about Brother Cedric over there. It's not about Junior on the keyboard. The little fellow on the on the drum. That's why that's why God told us enter into his gates. With Thanksgiving. Tell your neighbor, see, let's do the book. In, in into his gates with Thanksgiving. Come to his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him. And bless his name. <laughs> then, then the word said. Just in case somebody want to know why you want to bless his name. Because the Lord is good. <laughs> and, and his mercy endure it forever. So, that's why saints of old, back in the day, we would come in church dancing. But, you know, we got these Hammond, what is it, Hammond BB or what are these organ called? Back in the day, they had tambourine. The old folks say in the piano. Yeah. Wasn't but one jingle on the tambourine. And didn't have nothing but the snare. Didn't have no bass. Didn't have no cymbals. They had a snare. But the sound was so glorified with the praises of the saints. It looked like we had an orchestra in there. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going I'm to see some seeds, pay for my gas. Um, the Baptist, the church in Houston called Willow Avenue Baptist Church. Have you ever seen it? Them folk, you know what I'm They talk about the Holy Ghost. Them folk get to running and dancing. Pastor, pray, I, I, I pray with him every, every Wednesday at 6 a.m. He, he prayed with, for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Baptists. Yeah. They running and shouting. One Sunday, he did speak in tongues. Watch it, preach. I'm telling you. And we got him. We got this Holy Ghost in us, and we're not using it. Yeah. It's just drying up. It, it makes me sad. Some of y'all I don't know, but most of y'all in here I do know. I know where God brought you from. So how can you be important now? When you know where God brought you from. Right. 
You see, the church can be so on fire. If the folk coming in sick, pastor, they're about to preach. Church be on fire, God will start healing right in the praise. But we got to tell y'all, come on, clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on, stand up, stand up, praise the Lord. Sing it one song, 40 minutes, you know. You know, back in the day they did, but they would pass it around. You let it die, and somebody back in the back would pick it up. Y'all gonna turn this ad down, so well, no, they don't worry about it. Don't turn it down. I'm getting ready to go. Put your hands together and praise God for it. <laughs> I'm not going to, are y'all streaming? Stop the, stop the, stop the streaming for me. Nobody got up. Will you give him permission? He's giving y'all permission to stop it. Thank you, kind father. You can turn it back on after a while. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was in such a hurry to get to church. I left my cap at home. I left my scarf and my jacket. I was trying to get here because I was coming to deliverance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it off? Okay. Well, Pastor, I love you dearly. Lady Taylor, Mother Bishop. This is usually the senior citizens go uh, back to holiness revival. <clears throat> but at this time, I am I'm not sent. I haven't been released to do a revival. And uh, y'all talk about me as much as you want. 